They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. You know, they feel awkward. You feel awkward because they act awkward. But not him. He's like a brotherhood. And then? Yeah. And he's like a brotherhood. Like he's just known you forever. That's the way I feel around him. Like, you know. Just, he's like that. He's got it. He's got it. Could be a politician. Who, Eden? Eden yeah. could be a politician? Yeah, perfect. Yes. He's, he could be a politician. Because, you know. Rufus, come on in, man. Come on. Come on, have something to eat with me. And then he goes, I don't know about these, these lentils. I don't know something wrong with them. We know you do. He eats lentils. <laughs> no, what to have you invited me over? He says, "Come on, come have food with me. Eat." Because the housekeeper was here, and I, he says, "Come on, come on in." And so he says, "No, but I don't know about these lentils. Some, yeah, I don't. Know. He didn't like the way they taste. I go, oh, they, yeah, they okay, I guess." He said, "No, I don't, I don't think so." <laughs> he just, he, you know, he's smart. Could be a good politician. Yes, definitely. Everything you choose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Outgoing. Yeah, he's outgoing. He's, he's, you know, he's cool. No matter who is he around, no matter if he got all his other friends here, he still make you feel welcome. Like, you know. So, hey, bro. Ooh, you know. He's like you, though. You're like that, too. But he, you know, for the be able to be so young, he's, he's good at it. Not everybody's like that. Now, I got a, my nephew... It's coming in February. He's like that. He could be a politician too. He just know how to deal with people, you know. He's uh, the the owner of the Detroit Pistons is flying him and my little nephew that was a dance star on the Detroit Piston game. They're coming to California on February first for five days. Mm -hmm. So him and Eden. Huh? Him and Eden together. Politicians. Yeah, they could be good politicians, and see that's what we need. We need we need groups of mixed race people now that can get along and and get things done. You know, it's the, the day I'm sorry to say it, the day of all white men is over. Okay, it's got to be a mixed race now. All a bunch of coalition of young people with smarts and can get along. Not everybody can deal with people. Rufus, how is this Israeli coffee? This coffee is good. It's making me talk too much, but it's good. It's got a little, it's got a little kick into it, you know. It'll make you lively up a little bit. Say, cafe nachle. Cafe nachle. Yeah. Okay. Caf cafe nachle. Yeah. Okay. And what does that mean? It's got caffeine in it. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's got caffeine in. It. Yes. Yeah, brother. So you miss Eden? Yeah, I do. I really do. I, l I miss Lil Amir, but Lil Amir, he's not quite as outgoing as Eden. Eden is just, you know, you know, you don't, you have to drag stuff out of Lil Amir. He's kind of quiet, Lil Amir. He's kind of quiet and keep to himself. But, uh, but I never will forget the day I met his girlfriend. I go like, she said, I go, Good morning, because I was out here doing something, and she came to the door. I think I at first, I, but she wasn't scared. You could tell right away she wasn't afraid of me. So she says, she said, I go, good morning, how you doing? She said, oh, hi, how are you? Then I said, to she, I said, I don't think I met you before. I said to her, she says, well, I'm, I'm she said, somebody's girlfriend. I named everybody but little Amir. I go, Amir? The big, big Amir? No. And? No, I went down the lift. She says, no, I'm here. I go, and I was happy for him. I go, oh, God, he got a girlfriend now. Hey, I was happy. I was happy, man. I like him, but she was, I think she's perfect for him. What do you think? For whom? For little Amir. She's older than him, but she's outgoing, and I, I think she's nice looking myself. <laughs> 